All right, you guys, today we'll take a look how to recreate the Apple liquid glass here in Figma. So let's take a look. All right, so first we're going to select the type tool and let's type in something. Now let's go to the fill and recolor it to white. And now what we're going to need to do is press Shift plus A. So this is going to put the text into a frame right here. You can open it up and here we got the text. Now let's go and select the rectangle and I'm going to create a rectangle, something like this. And now let's go to the layers and drag and drop the rectangle into the frame one above the text layer. It is going to mess it up quite a bit. So let's go here to the position and click on ignore auto layout. So this is going to reset it and I'm going to select the rectangle again and place it where the text is. Now let's go here to the layer with the rectangle and drag it above the text. So it's going to be in between the frame and the glass. So right now I'm going to go with the rectangle and let's go to the fill and increase it to white. Let's go and decrease the opacity to 10. And now let's go and select the frame one. Click on it. And here let's go to the auto layout and check clip content. So basically this is going to cut off the big rectangle into this frame. Now let's go here to the padding. You can customize the padding and I'm going to decrease the vertical quite a bit. Now let's go to the corner radius. I'm going to increase it to hundred. So now it's going to make it nice and rounded. Now we're going to need to go and select the rectangle one, click on it. And I also going to reposition it right here and we're going to apply some effects. So let's go to the effects, click on the plus. Let's go to drop shadow and change it to background blur. Here you can increase the background blur. I'm going to go with like 7.5. Let's go back to the effects, click on the plus, And I'm going to change this one and select the texture. Now let's go to the texture and bring the texture under the background blur and click on the texture and here I'm going to increase the size and I'm also going to increase the radius and check this out it is going to mess it up quite a bit. I'm going to go with radius 28 size 100. If you want you also can add some green. Let's go to the plus and we're going to change it to noise. Here I'm going to change up the color to white and decrease the noise size and also the density. So I'm going to go with the noise size 0.4 a density 55 and the opacity on 25. And about least we're gonna to need to go here to the frame one, select the frame one, and let's go back to the effects. Let's go and add an effect. And here I'm gonna change it to inner shadow. And let's go to the color, make it white. I'm gonna to go to the opacity and increase it to 40. The X position is gonna be four. A Y position is gonna be five. And I'm gonna add the blur at six. Now we're gonna to need to add another inner shadow. Let's click on the plus and change it to inner shadow again, change the color to white, opacity on 40, and let's go to the X position. This is gonna be minus one, Y minus two, blur is gonna be four, and about least we're gonna add another inner shadow, click on the plus, and change it to inner shadow, make it white. And here I'm gonna increase the opacity all the way to 100. I'm gonna go to position one, Y position one, blur on four, I also can go and add some drop shadow, click on the plus, and I'm going to go to the Y, increase it to 8, blur is going to be 13, and I think this is pretty much it. So this is how it looks, if you want to move it around you can select the frame 1, and this way you can move it and check it out, it is going to show the distortions live. You also can rename it, double click on the text, and here as you can see it is going to cut off the effect right here. So because of that I'm going to go and select the rectangle, click on it, and I'm just going to extend it all the way out. So pretty much that's how I make this glass effect here on Figma. Thanks for watching.